Hey, Rocco Lapone. What you doing, bub? What you doing? How you going? Come on, let's go with top. Come on, bub, let's go. Come on. Welcome. Welcome to the homestead. We are headed up here to the front of the property because I have to get back on the sawmill, guys. We made quite a bit of progress over the last couple days. If you saw a couple videos ago, I started milling for our subfloor and um, piled up a whole bunch of uh, logs and prep to be cut cut words are hard to be cut not cooked logs to be cut well i got quite a few of them done and um, let me take you over here to the sawmill and i'll show you what i'm talking about i've got the tractor the old massey ferguson from tm he's letting us borrow that I got that uncovered, ready to go. Look at this pile I got, guys. Nice. Nice little pile of one by six. Those are one by six by tens, but there is a mix of eight footers in there, um, which I will use anyway because the span that we're going to be um, going across with this is 26 feet. So two 10 footers and a six footer, um, a few eight footers isn't gonna hurt a thing. So very happy about that, but take a look guys. I've got a log on and I've got these two logs left over here at the mill that I want to get those cut up this morning and then we'll get uh, the Massey all fired up, warmed up, and I've got a few logs back in this corner that I'm going to pull out from that pile. Hopefully they're not all punky. And if they're good, we'll get them over there and get them staged up.
Okay, guys. I wanted to explain a little bit of my method here um, with milling on the sawmill. So, this particular sawmill will not cut below one inch off of here. It won't go down any farther than that. So knowing that, when I get down to the bottom of the board, I'm going to tell you what I do. So I flip these over. This was the first board. And once I get down to, this was 5 inch, 4 inch, 3 inch. Once I get down to the 2 inch mark, I measure whatever is left. Okay, in this case, it was an inch and 3 quarters. And then I set my mill for three quarters of an inch below the um, two inch mark which ends up giving me my one inch and that's kind of how I do it and you can see here so once I get to the two inch mark okay I'll just go to about here make a cut and check it because this one inch mark is not necessarily one inch off that bunk. You see this gauge here will move up and down. So that's why I do it that way because I can't just run this down to one inch and assume that that's one inch off the bunk you're actually using this tape measure and measuring backwards, if that makes sense. So I started with a nine inch cant. I took an eight, a seven, and a six. I took those off the mill, reset it up for five, four, three, two. Then I took, measured it. It was an inch and three quarters. I came three quarters of an inch down from the two inch mark and made my cut so on the ruler one inch is actually at inch and a quarter if that makes sense to you guys so hopefully that's helpful Not too shabby I think I got uh, 90 boards right now so we're a little less than halfway there but I don't have any more timber stacked in front of the mill so we're gonna get the tractor I already dragged the log out we're gonna get it cut to length and I think that's it for this pile I need to go to the big pile now to retrieve logs so let's see if we can get our staging area filled back up and uh, be ready for the next day's milling. guys that's not a big pile but that's a pretty good pile staged up there and I have these two logs that I got staged up but I didn't cut them into length because my chainsaw is not loving being out in the sunshine today it's pretty close to 80 degrees for the tail end of February I don't know anyhow I'm gonna leave those staged up there tomorrow morning we'll come back when this whole area is in the shade and it's supposed to only get in the 40s tomorrow so the chainsaw will run real real good we'll get those length up get them over in the pile but that's where we're going to leave it today because i'm going to go into the farm stand and work on the secret project and i can't tell you about that yet so you're just going to have to stay tuned so see you guys tomorrow morning
what a difference a day makes it was 87 degrees yesterday and today it is barely out of the 40s and if you can see the trees behind me it is pretty breezy but that's all right we're still gonna try and get some stuff done so i've got these logs we're gonna see if the chainsaw is liking the cooler weather better we'll get these sectioned up and lengthed up and get them over in the pile That's not that bad. Let's go check it out, guys. Not too bad for a little bit of morning work. Pretty happy. I'll get probably, as long as this lumber is good uh, and it's not punky inside, what do we got? We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I got 13 logs here. Probably get. 80 80 to 100 boards out of them that's not bad that's not bad at all i average anywhere from seven to ten a board so i think we'll be all set but we're not going to mill today i'm saving that for tomorrow i've got another project i need to jump on today so let's go check that out Look at our garlic. Two rows. It is doing fantastic. Let me step over it here. So, if you guys have been following along, sorry, pollen is bad. You would have seen a couple of videos ago. Um, I took all these piles of compost and they're staggered all around the garden and there's over a year old chicken manure back there uh, i will try and remember to leave a link up there for that video but that needs to get spread out in our rows because i ordered the rototiller this morning so we'll have that in a couple of weeks so i want to get this on top of the rows um, so that we can till it in. Now, I know all of you guys who are much more experienced gardeners than us are saying, no, 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 just top coat with your compost. And you would be right. If our soil was at the place where it needed to be. You see, we don't have a lot of rock here in our soil here in this part of our county it's actually pretty good as far as rock goes but there is a lot of clay so our soil needs a lot of organic matter so that it will drain off and we did 
quite a bit of work last year, but it's not quite there yet. So all this compost, this organic matter, I want down in the soil. So we're gonna spread it and we're gonna till it in and maybe next year or possibly the year after, our soil will be where we want it. And at that point, we will top dress every spring and possibly sometime in the summer with some compost and let it just leach down in. But uh, I'm gonna set you guys up and I'm gonna see if I can get this done because it's a nice cool day. It's a perfect day for physical activity. All right, not too bad, only took a couple hours. Uh, that pile and that pile are year old chicken manure. Um, because we had rain a couple, two, three days ago, um, they're a little clumpy, so I'm gonna let them dry out in the sun and uh, then we'll spread them. Not a big deal. That area over there does not have rows in it. That's our squash patch, so. It's just a, an area that will grow in without rows. So we'll get that spread out over there just before we till. But looking good, guys. Not looking too bad at all. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, oh, what are you going to do with your garlic? See this pile right here? Hold on. Whoa. Hold on, guys. See this pile right here? That is straw and rabbit poop. And that I'm gonna sprinkle on our uh, garlic because that's a cold manure and let that leach down in and it will be fine, so. We have fur. Let's see what we got. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight little babies. Okay, let's get them back in there. Good job, Mama. Watch out, sweetie. Good job. Good job. Good girl. You did a good job. Good girl. Good Mama. What do you think, Rocco? Is it gonna be a good work day? 
You think it's going to be a good work day? Come on, let's go up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, good morning, guys. It's the next morning. And boy, was it a cold one last night. Dropped down to 23. And we made a critical mistake. We forgot to put our uh, faucet on trickle. So our hose was a little froze up this morning, but it's gonna be 50 degrees today, if not warmer, and it's already starting to thaw out. I can get water out of the frost free, so it won't be long and the hose will be uh, thawed out. But we're going to switch gears just a little bit today, guys, because if you look right there on my truck, you see that? I got a piece of pipe, and that piece of pipe is going to go right here. Now, I had ordered the proper piece of culvert for this. Uh, it was a six inch, 40,000 pound weight capacity culvert um, over a month ago. And getting that culvert out here to us in Arkansas turned out to be a massive disaster. And they really didn't even know when they were going to be able to ship it. So I made the call and I canceled that order because <clears throat> I need to get this driveway buttoned back up because I want to smooth this all out very soon and I need that culvert in. But my friend Rich he had some good pipe. It's not culvert pipe. It is, it's at least schedule 40. I think it might even be schedule 80 pipe, drainage pipe. Take a look at it here. This is some pretty thick stuff, pretty good stuff. Now I'm hoping that this is gonna be okay. There's not a lot of weight that is going to be going over our driveway. My truck is the heaviest thing. <clears throat> so I'm hoping this is not going to bust anytime soon. It will have some dirt and some gravel and rock over the top of it to help it out. And it will be completely surrounded by earth and the clay earth, which will keep it from bowing out, which would cause it to break even quicker but if it does break it's not a big deal i'll dig it out and i will see if i can get my hands on the right piece of pipe um in the meantime because that pipe it actually cost me more to get it shipped here than it did for me to get the pipe and they weren't even going to ship it to me. They were going to ship it to the store on the store's truck. And um, then they couldn't tell me when it was going to come in. Uh, so I just canceled it. So we're going to get this off the truck. Get it down there to the driveway. See if we can get this installed.
What do you think, Rocco? Does it pass inspection? Huh? Is it looking good? How's your boo-boo? What do you think, Rocco? Do you approve? Is that okay? Oh, oh, a tail wag. Oh. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well, Rocco approves, and frankly, I approve too. Let's take a look, guys. Leave me a note in the comments. Can you see where the pipe was? Not too, too shabby. Not too shabby at all. But that's gonna do it for us for today, guys. I got some other projects that I have to get done off Homestead. So we're gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.